Women who used remote control vibrator in public. What's your story? My wife doesn't use Reddit, so I'll answer for her. When we were young and experimental we did this. I'm pretty sure the exhibitionism angle of it was more thrilling than the actual vibration of the device. If I recall correctly, we went out on a date night to the movies with the vibrator in place. Ultimately, we ended up doing what the vast majority of couples experimenting with sex toys do. We cleaned it off, put it in a box, and it's been somewhere in the back of our closet for over 15 years now. Well, while my wife and I feel like her having a straight up orgasm in public would make her feel too exposed, every other day, I do like to provide her with a constant slight buzz with vibrating panties. And if it gets a bit too intense, she'll just bury her face in my chest while I slow it down a little. That said, if we know we are going on a 30 plus minimum car ride, I'll probably let it give her multiple orgasms while I'm driving. Honestly, seeing her whimpering and shaking in the passenger seat makes for amazing entertainment on these long stretches of straight road. My boyfriend and I toy around with an insertable one every now and again. We will go for walks at night and he'll spend the whole time giving me little jolts. Every once in a while we'll find an empty slash more private place along our adventure and he'll make me come a few times if I'm wearing a skirt. It's inappropriate to involve others in your kinks, even if they aren't privy to being involved. Consent y'all. So we always make a point not to use it when near other people. It was a very distracted dinner. FWB enjoyed his birthday though. I've never had better tasting pizza. In my experience, I'm a guy, but my fiancé and I have used one of these. The vibration is too weak and the toy is too loud for this to really work as intended. Maybe if the girl is extremely sensitive, or if you are at a public place where the loud vibrations won't be noticed. Like maybe a monster truck rally. Put one in my girl when we went grocery shopping once. Fun times. I'll let my husband use it at the casino multiple times before. Every time he wins he gets to turn it on. So fun because noon else knows what we are giggling about. Funny story, my GF doesn't use Reddit. She really likes the idea of this. She's a submissive. So we went and got one. Didn't work. Got another. Also didn't work. Third time. Nope. The toys work fine, just not controllable once inside her. Best guess is that her pelvic bone is thick enough that it blocks the Bluetooth signals. Not sure if that's right, but we honestly can't think of any other possible reason. The remote control, device, phone, whatever, only works if it's within an inch or so of her pockets, or closer. We were at a munch, social gathering, and he decided it would be funny to pass the remote around to our friends. It makes grocery shopping hell of a lot more interesting. Just keep it on low, and try to keep a straight face while coming. Oh hey, finally one I can chime in on. Throw away for obvious reasons. This was more high school and young adult me. I haven't done it since college. I did this a lot back then. In the car, at the mall, at shows, movie theaters, in class. It was a fetish I eventually grew out of. Maybe because I was more rebellious as a teen. I had cheap crappy egg vibrators. Some alright vibrating panties. And a few other random things that Spencer's store used to sell at the mall that worked better. Let's also get something big out of the way. The act of doing it was far more pleasurable than the actual vibrators. I could stick an egg or two up there and buzz for an hour without finishing. Sure it would get wet and I'd get blushy, but without pushing it down on my clit it was hard to actually get there. They also tended to slip at the wrong angle, so all those videos of people walking around having orgasms are probably fake, unless those girls are just really sensitive. Anyway, the big issue is that they tend to be loud. I'm not sure if that's because I was using cheap garbage ones. I lived with my parents through college, so I didn't ever order better ones online for fear of them getting the package first, but I really couldn't use them in places that really got me going. Like I always had this fantasy of sitting in an office with it buzzing away while trying to hold my composure on the phone, but the entire office would have heard it. The idea was that I wanted to be the risk of being heard, not the vibrator itself. The need to keep calm and composed was what made it fun. My boyfriend and I toy around with an insertable one every now and again. We will go for walks at night and he'll spend the whole time giving me little jolts. Every once in a while we'll find an empty slash more private place along our adventure and he'll make me come a few times if I'm wearing a skirt. 
it's inappropriate to involve others in your kinks, even if they aren't privy to being involved, consent y'all, so we always make a point not to use it when near other people. Well, while my wife and I feel like her having a straight up orgasm in public would make her feel too exposed, every other day, I do like to provide her with a constant slight buzz with vibrating panties. And if it gets a bit too intense, she'll just bury her face in my chest while I slow it down a little. That said, if we know we are going on a 30 plus minimum car ride, I'll probably let it give her multiple orgasms while I'm driving. Honestly, seeing her whimpering and shaking in the passenger seat makes for amazing entertainment on these long stretches of straight road. A lot of weird walking and giggling. Definitely had to grip onto things slash people to stay stable lol. Can someone recommend a good brand of these? In my experience, it's mostly just thrilling to be out in public with a secret in your panties, but the vibrator kind of sucks. Or I've jaded myself from the power of the Hitachi, 